Okay, so day two of the scoot ski build. Got almost everything out. I'm gonna work on trying to pull the motor out today. So I don't know if I'm gonna have help, but hopefully I do because this looks really heavy. You gotta cut the drive shaft out, try and pull the motor, and then hopefully by the end of the day, get the jet out. And if we're lucky, we'll go pick up a scooter today. For those of you who are wondering too, this is not the scooter I'm using. I actually really like this scooter even though it's really beat up. Uh, it does wheelies, it's fast enough, it's my little beater, and I don't want to use it for this because I like the way the scooter is, so I'm going to get another one. So I think I got almost everything out, or at least cut, and I don't think there's anything else holding the motor in, so I think I can just undo the motor mounts and pull it. I don't see, oh I see one more cable, I don't know what that's for. That might have been for the oil tank. But yeah, I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna undo the motor mount bolts and let's go. On a side note, I really like this flashlight. Um, I bought this for the boat at night. And you know, if you just turn it on, it's really dim. You can see. You can see it's got a little screen. So the smaller. So the dimmest it gets is 20 lumens, so it says right there. Or if you double tap it, it goes all the way up to 4,000. And it's kind of dead right now, but I'll show you what it's like. Just that little light's on, and that's it. So, there's normal, and then, so yeah, it's pretty bright. I actually had the world's brightest flashlight off of TikTok, so I don't know. Stuff is kind of cool. This is just nice to have. On a side note though, it gets really, really hot. Okay, so next, I think those are 14. So I'm gonna get 14 millimeter and undo those bolts and hopefully the motor comes free. Actually, I forgot to cut that, hang on. Little snip snip. I'm not saving anything off of this ski except for the body. The body is the only thing that I care about. And we're free. Yeah, that was an oil line. I can tell. Okay, so got the motor unbolted. I will say, working on these, you know, 1990s, early 2000s jet skis, it's a whole lot easier than my 2020. I have just such a nice appreciation for the older stuff. So much easier to work on. But anyways, I gotta wait for the truck to come back so I can get a sawzall and cut that drive shaft and the motor's ready to come out. So it's just about to film the segment about how I cut the drive shaft in this thing, but the guy with the scooter messaged me back, so we might be getting a scooter today. Okay, yeah, so we are getting the scooter today. So that's pretty good. Now, I got drive shaft completely cut. I had to cut this out of the way, and then I think the motor's ready to be lifted out, so I gotta leave here in like 10 minutes to go pick up the scooter. It's all the way in Tampa, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get this motor out of here first. So then when the scooter gets here, of course we can ride a little bit, but then we can also rip the scooter apart. Motor's out. That was harder than I thought. And that's also a lot heavier than I thought, but motor's out. I'm so tired now. I do have to pull the motor mounts out, whatever that is. I think that's for the trim, because this ski did have a trim system where you can move the jet up and down. Uh, gotta take the gas tank out. I think. I don't know how I'm going to get that out. I'll figure that out later. Um, I got to cut all the wiring out um, for all this to be cut and hopefully can cut the bottom of the ski today. I'm praying. But this little booger was so heavy when you're doing this by yourself. And I didn't realize like this line down here was still hooked up. And then this also sprayed me in the face with oil. Didn't know this wire was still hooked up and this was still hooked up. So. Yeah, this is a little really heavy when you're trying to cut things and uh, pull it out at the same time. But yeah, I'm gonna go get the scooter. So next clip, there's gonna be a scooter here. All right, so I'm back. As you can see, no scooter, because that guy decided to be a selfish brat and wait till I drove an hour to then ghost me. So waited two hours and yeah, then he claims he was busy. So whatever, we don't have a scooter, but at least the motor's out. So 
I don't want to end it here. So I guess I'm just going to come back to when I figure something out. Really, I'm going to pull out all the stuff I got for it and we'll see what it is or at least how they, how good or bad they are. Okay, so here's everything I got. This is a brake light, I believe. No, this is a turn signal. This one's amber. This is going to be the brake light. This is red. And then this is for the front. These are switchback turn signals. So I'm going to try and hook them up as like daytime running lights. I'm probably going to mount them right around here. I haven't decided yet. I see they're going to be here or here. We'll figure that part out later. And then of course, oh man, these are going to be the headlights. But well, let's try these since I dropped them. All right, so here's what they look like. Let me open these up and see how they work. Strip this wire. There we go. Okay, so we may have a problem. These are perfect because they're really bright and I might just wire them up as running lights. But the main problem is, let me realign, it's a problem. I think you all can tell it is a sequential turn signal. I can't really have that. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that, this one might need to be a return because I don't know if this one's gonna work out. But anyways, now let's try the brake light. So these are really hard to film by yourself, but these are winners. These are not um, switchbacks, or not switchbacks, um, sequential. So already better than those. And the wiring is a lot thicker, which I like. The brake lights will be the same, so those are good. Now let's try my favorite part, and that's gonna be the headlights. The last one is the headlight, and we all know it's probably gonna go right here. I got two of them, because they came in a pack of two, so might do one up here and down here, might do just down here. I don't know, maybe one can be like an engine light or something or when it breaks down, because we all know it's gonna break down. And uh, I haven't decided if it's gonna be here or up here. Some people do up here and I don't like that. And then people will also do here and here, and I don't like that, but let's see how bright it is. All right, so I'm going to touch this to positive and this to the bolt. Oh, that's not bad. I'm using the light from the GoPro to guide myself. So here's the red, so positive goes here, positive goes here, and then the ground can just touch it. Okay, for a little light that was like $15 for two, that's not bad. That's going to work perfectly. So I don't know if this is going to be the end of it or if I'm just going to keep going. Um, that's out. Gotta get that taken away. I wonder if it's seized up or not. I might have to figure out if it's seized or not. And got the saws all ready to cut the whole body for when I get a scooter, but I'm waiting for a scooter. Um, I still gotta pull those motor mounts. I'll probably do that off camera. I still gotta pull out some of the wiring and then the gas tank, but I mean, it's, it's getting lighter. I mean, I can finally pick up the back end without a problem. So, if the video continues, then I have more. If not, yeah, we'll just see what happens. But um, this project is definitely a lot more than I thought it was going to be. But it's going to be good in the end.